wale ya denu ya buda present nena and friends a passion for the african child now is the time this is the moment for me to share my love with you so come on everybody it's all about you Those who develop a love for learning at an early age are generally the most outspoken, successful and interesting people in the world. That's how I say a big welcome to you on the maiden edition of the Nainan Friends Brain Power Game for Primary Schools, a platform for improved learning. Thank you. As usual, I have with me three cute contestants. Contestant number one is My name is Emmanuel Achugo. I'm from Binta International School. I am in primary five. A round of applause for him. <laughs> Contestant number two. My name is Anya Unruz. I attend Oplifting Nursery and Primary School. I am in basic five. <laughs> Lovely. And my final contestant is My name is Ewa Jude. I am from Via. Nigerian Primary School and I'm in basic five. A round of applause for him. Thank you. Contestants, each of you will be allowed to answer five questions and you have 30 seconds to provide the answer to each question. So, are you ready to play the game? Yes. yes. Contestant number one, your question. Question one. Question one. From the list of words lettered A to D, Choose the word that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the underlined word in the sentence. The hunter was foolish to have attacked an elephant with a blunt knife. A. Small B. Sharp C. Heavy D. Light B. Sharp Final answer? Yes. Correct. A round of applause. Thank you. Contest number two. Number four. Number four. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the word that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the underlined word. I met some familiar faces at the interview. A. Serious B. Strange C. Known D. Pleasing B. Strange Correct. <laughs> Contest number three. Number six. Number six. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the word that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word. The fisherman was ordered to dive into the sea and rescue the drowning prince. A. Encouraged B. Advised C. Commanded D. Told C. Commanded Correct Contest number one, your question. Question 30. Question 30. A letter is missing. Choose from the letters given the one that most suitably fills the space. C R I dash E. Options A W B B C M D D. C. Oh, no, no. C M. You still have enough time. C M. I'm sorry. You're correct. <laughs> Thank you. Contest number two. Your question. Number nine. Number nine. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the word that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word. Our teacher left out English literature from the list he submitted to the headmaster. 
A. Omitted B. Disagreed C. Underlined D. Described A. Omitted Final answer? Yes Correct <laughs> Contest number three Number two Number two from the list of words lettered A to D, choose the word that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the underlined word. Or B. Carefully walked out of the trap. A. Under. B. Through. C. Into. D. For. B. Through. Final answer. Or B. Carefully walked out of the trap. That's the bell. The time is up. You're wrong. The answer is C into the trap. <laughs> Contest number one, your question. Question eight. Question eight. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the word that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word. We should always visit the sick and comfort them by sharing in their pains and misery. A hold. B. Pat. C. Console. D. Laugh at. C. Console. Console. Correct. <laughs> Contest the number two, your question. Number twelve. Number twelve. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. We waited dash him at the railway station until it was dark. A to B from C for D at C for Correct. <laughs> Contest number three, your question. Number ten. Number ten. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the word that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word. He refused to tell us again the causes of malaria. A. Defend. B. Repeat. C. Narrate. D. Describe. Repeat. Correct. <laughs> Contest number one. Number twenty. Number twenty. From the list of words that had A to D, choose the word that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. I was frightened by the roaring lions, the bleating sheep, and the dash snakes. A. Mewing. B. Blowing. C. Hissing. D. Sighing. C. Hissing snakes. Final answer. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Contest number two. A question. Sixteen. Number sixteen. From the list of words that had A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. I could have been the happiest of men if my daughters were Dash than Aishatu, Ada, and Ibuko. A tall. B. Taller. C. Tallest. D. More tall. B. Taller. Correct. <laughs> Contest number three. Number fifteen. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. He sits dash her in class. A. Besides. B. Beside. C. Among. D. Between. Between. It sits dash her in class. Besides. Beside. Among. Between. Between. D. I'm sorry, your time is up. And we have to stick to your final answer, which is between. You're wrong. The answer is beside without an S. <laughs> Contestants, your final round. Contestant number one. Number 28. Number 28. 
A letter is missing. Choose from the letters given the one that most suitably fills the space. Dash C E A N A M B A C O D R C O Correct. Answer number two, your question. Number 14. Number 14. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. He fills his dash James because he is very tall. A. All to. B. All the stuff. C. All the by. D. All the damn. D. All the damn. D. Order than correct. <laughs> Contest number three. Eighteen. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. I know her very well. She has been a good friend of Dash for years. My. A my. B me. C mine. D myself. Mine. Look at it again. My final answer. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry, you're wrong. The answer is C. My. A round of applause. We've come to the end of the question session, and the contest number one has five points. <laughs> contest number two has five points. Contest number three has two points. Now, there's a tie between contest number one and contest number two. Am I right? Yes, you so are. what do we do? Break the tie. So contestants, your final opportunity. Contest number one, your question. Number eleven. Number eleven. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. I've seen the tailor before. So I do not wish dash him again. A for C, B by C, C seen, D to C. D to C. I have seen a tailor before, so I do not wish to see him again. Correct. <laughs> Contest number two, your question. Number 13. Number 13. From the list of words lettered A to D, choose the one that most suitably fills the gap in the sentence. I do not know Dash is decided to be rude. A. Then. B. Y. C. Through. D. From. B. Y. Correct. <laughs> Contestant number one, your question. Number 25. Number 25. A word is missing. Choose from the words given the one that most suitably fills the space. Sharp and blunt, beautiful and dash. A. Tall. B. Charming. C. Ugly. D. Dress. C. Ugly. Ugly. Correct. <laughs> Contest number two. Your question. Number three. Number three. Spell xylophone. C Z Y L O P H O N E Xylophone Xy Xylophone Xylophone Z Y L O P H O N E Final answer That's the bell I'm sorry you're wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody's a winner. The right spelling is X Y L O P H O N E. Xylophone. A round of applause for yourself. <laughs> Finally, contest number one emerged my winner today. But we come back from presenting our prizes to our contestants. Don't touch the dial. Welcome back.
back, my friends. It's still your favorite TV show, the Nana and Friends. Thank you. So my third position goes to Ahera Jude. Please put your hands together for him as he comes on stage. Well done. This is a certificate of participation presented to your school. A gift bag from Nina and Friends for you. A dictionary for you. Exercise box for you. And of course, Kosti Biloxi Biscuits. This is for you. A round of applause for him. Thank you. My second position goes to the cute and pretty Anyawu Ruth. Please put your hands together for her. Well done, my love. Thank you. This is a certificate of participation. It's presented to your school. A gift bag from Nina and Friends for you. A dictionary for you. Exercise books for you. And of course, Katsi Beloxi Biscuits. This is for you. A round of applause for her. Thank you. My winner today is Emmanuel Achiogo. A round of applause for him. Congratulations. This is an award of excellence presented to you. A certificate of participation presented to your school. A gift bag from Nena Friends for you. A dictionary for you. Exercise books for you. A beautiful wall clock presented to your school. And of course, Katsi Biloxi Biscuits. This is for you. So what do you have to say? Thank you, Inan and friends. Thank you very much. A round of applause for him. <laughs> We've come to the end of today's episode and I'm sure that you have been inspired to wanting to learn more. Know that dreams really do come through, but only through hard work, determination and persistence. Keep studying and keep being good till I come your way again next okay. week. Bye. To accomplish great things, we must dream as well as act. Don't forget that. Now is the time, this is the moment for me to share my love with you. So come on now.